This is the UNSC Scorpion Clash from Mega. I'm Brickman117. Welcome back to the channel. The set number is HHC42. It comes with 993 pieces, five figures, and it is part of the ongoing two-in-one build range. The set was originally released in 2022 for $96. And as of the recording of this video, is currently still available from Amazon. The link is in the description below, but we'll talk more about that later on in the video. As far as box art goes, we've got the standard Master Chief down one side of the box. We've got the figures included with the set down the other side of the box. On the top of the box, we've got the new Mega logo with the figures again. And on the rear of the box, we get a nice image of what's included in the set, as well as a description of the weapons and some of the interactive features with the tank itself. The unboxing experience was in line with their current format. And inside the box, you've got eight plastic bags, not paper bags, sadly and the instruction manual itself. No sticker sheet, because as we all know, Mega have been printing their parts for many a year now. And here it is, the latest iteration of the Scorpion tank from Mega. And boy, does it look good. This thing has some serious shelf appeal and it looks pretty fantastic spinning around on the turntable too. I couldn't be happier to finally have this thing built and added to my collection. The general build was enjoyable, even with the repetitive nature of building four side pods to contain the tank tracks, which themselves you have to piece together from over 100 separate pieces. That said, it didn't detract from the overall build experience for me, and whilst there wasn't any new ground broken technically within this build, I did still find it overall a generally enjoyable, straightforward build experience. When it comes to features, there's plenty to be had on the new Scorpion. We'll start at the back with this very well concealed smuggling compartment. The instructions suggest it's a place to store the tool chest that comes with the set, but we all know it's actually a way to smuggle mower burgers and other contraband to the forces on the front line. As we move around to the front of the tank, once again, another very well concealed hatch that can be raised so you can insert one of the figures into the driving seat because after all, these bad boys don't drive themselves, do they? Off to the side of the cockpit, we've got the machine gun post where you can also insert a secondary figure to help mow down some banished. And the gun build itself has to be the best version Mega have strapped to any of their Scorpion tanks. I'm not sure if the gun shield is a new piece. It's certainly not been used on Scorpions before, but it's definitely been used to good effect here. The main gun itself has 360 degree rotation as well as elevation control. Both of these functions have a good amount of resistance, so there's no worry about it flopping around all over the place when you're trying to set it up for a, a nice photo shoot or even if you're going to be using this for stop motion animation. The gun itself also has the recoil feature as brought over from the 20 in one Scorpion, although this time they've made it a lot more discreet compared to that last one. It still has the huge handle sticking out the side of it, but that's not an issue for me. If you don't like it, it's easily converted. The side pods themselves have a fantastic range of motion similar to that of previous Scorpions. But again, like all previous Scorpions, there is no friction in these joints. I can only assume that is intentional to create a sense of realism when you're actually using this tank. If you're using it for play and you want it to run over something, the way it moves over something, I think, gives the best effect if there is no friction in those joints. As for the tank tracks themselves, I mentioned earlier, you have to assemble them piece by piece, which some people might find tedious. I don't mind it myself. And Mega have made it much easier by getting you to create this small little jig using these three orange pieces, which allows you to just clip the individual pieces together very, very quickly and efficiently. I would say the most challenging part of this process is once you've got that big long link of tracks, into the pod getting them to connect one end to the other can be a little bit tricky but once you've done one and you know how it works it's not too bad and that's about it for functions the only thing left to talk about is the detailing of this before we move on to the figures and some of the other parts that come with this set now i could go on for far too long talking about the detailing of this tank because i absolutely love it i think they've done a fantastic job but if we start off with printed detail you get the two scorpion tiles either side on the main gun you get a UNSC emblem on one side of the main body on this wedge piece. You also get UNSC text on both of the front track pods. And they even printed this tiny little quarter dome piece here right on the top of the gun, which I didn't actually even notice until I was making this review. But that's what I call going the extra mile. 
Moving on from the printed detail, I think the physical detail pretty much speaks for itself. The design team at Mega have done an incredible job here shaping this vehicle. It looks effortlessly gorgeous from pretty much every angle. And if that's not what we want, I don't know what is. And now it's time to take a look at everything else that comes with the set. First up, you get this very simple yet effective and welcome barricade build that has the ability to hold two spare projectiles for the stationary plasma gun that also comes with the set. The gun stand itself, unfortunately, is slightly too high for the figures, but not a deal breaker for me because generally this is just for display rather than play. You also get the tool chest, which comes with a variety of tools as well as spare tools in the spare parts. And while we're on the subject, these are all the spare parts that were left over from the main build, which is always a bonus for any custom builder. We do like our spares. Weapons wise, you get a Hydra in black, a battle rifle in black and an energy sword, plus three bolts for the stationary gun. In regards to figures, you get a pair of hunters, which are almost identical aside from some battle damage to the chest of one of the hunters. They are, however, identical to the hunters that came in the Wasp Onslaught set. You also get an Elite Warlord in gold, which is an absolutely fantastic figure. And I'm so glad that they got the gold right for this figure because I think we all wanted this figure. You also get a generic UNSC Marine. This one comes with desert camo fatigues as opposed to the general fatigues we've seen so far in the infinite range. And the named character of the set, which I'm sure you all know, Spartan Stone. Looking absolutely exceptional with that digital camo effect all over the chest armour and helmet. For anyone wanting to see these figures spun 360 degrees to get a real good in-depth look at them, be sure to visit my channel and check out my shorts playlist. I regularly update a playlist there which features all figures, both new and old. Every time I get some, I film them and add them to that playlist. Why? Because I like doing it and you guys seem to like watching them too, so I'll keep going. So that's the Scorpion Clash set by Mega and if it wasn't obvious by now, I think it's amazing. I really, really like this set. It's everything I wanted from this set and I think it's going to be a very popular set and I say going to be because although the first review by Halo Evolved for this set came out 11 months ago, it's still been pretty difficult for most people to get. And that's one of the reasons it's taken me this long to actually produce a review for this set. I was very late getting it and then I've been busy, so it's been delayed. But again, now could be a good time for this review because over the past couple of months, Amazon have finally had this set back in stock and it seems to be coming back in stock more and more frequently. As I said earlier, the recording of this video, it is currently available to order. It does say currently out of stock, but you can still pre-order it for retail. I mentioned earlier, the affiliate link is in the description below. If you want to support the channel, use that link. I'm sure there will be a wait for it to come, but the signs are looking positive that Amazon are getting restocks, not just for this set, but other sets as well. I hope you enjoyed this review. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.